all right, it's 2022 and you can do anything with AI, or at least you can generate some sort of content with AI. You can generate text, audio, a lot of different snippets, but I haven't yet seen a fully generated video, which would be kind of YouTube worthy. So could you actually generate something which adds value to a viewer like yourself just using those AI tools? This is exactly what I'm gonna do today. And I'm gonna walk you through a process. Granted, I'm gonna need to do post-processing, but actual production of the specific, you know, slices and snippets and clips is gonna be done by AI. What we're gonna do first, and this is maybe a dirty secret for those who are thinking to start YouTube or content production or, you know, some sort of video creation, is that YouTube favors videos which are not necessarily good. For example, myself, when I produce videos for UX, the simpler they are, the better they perform. So immediately, if I would type something like UX design, the suggestions of top asked terms or tags is tutorial for beginners, designer, career course, tutorial, salary, process, yada, yada, yada. If you can make a video on that, it's guaranteed to perform because at some point the SEO is gonna pick up and boost that. And the videos on YouTube, which performed in the past or immediately performed well, are gonna perform well down the road. So if let's say you make some sort of niche, I don't know, commentary video, or let's say something I do, it's not necessarily is gonna, you know, be boosted and might not clock in as many views as others. Anyhow, I hit UX design, you're gonna see that there's quite a few different videos there. Few results, what is UX design? What does UX designer actually do? UI versus UX, very basic videos. Granted, they're powerful and they're helpful. So I'm gonna do exactly that. I'm gonna start this, what is UX design? For actual content generation, I'm gonna use Jasper AI. Just type in something like, what is UX design? And then some keywords, and let's just generate. So the results, UX design is an approach to designing products with focus on user's experience. This involves understanding the user needs and goals and designing a product that meets those needs. It's summarized probably better than I could just in a paragraph, so I'm gonna take that. And what we're gonna do next is actually pass it into Murph. And Murphy AI is audio generation tool. So I'm gonna push that text and I'm just gonna split it. Play it. UX design is a process for creating user-centered products. Pretty good. I mean, it's a bit choppy, but hey, but we basically need just slightly longer piece of text which we can work with so that we can create a minute at least for YouTube short. User experience or UX design is the process of designing products that provide a meaningful and relevant... Not too bad at all. Not too bad. Let's just export it and see exactly where we can take this. There is no such like, there is a lot of different tools in the making. There is none available immediately to just generate some sort of moving picture. So I'm gonna still need to do it manually for now. Again, the composer work, director role is still there. So I'm gonna jump into Dali 2, try to get as many moving pictures for that minute as possible so that you can actually have a lot of different examples. UX design encompasses everything from the initial research to the final product launch. This involves understanding the user's needs and desires and then designing a product that meets those needs. It is a collaborative process that brings together various disciplines, including product design, psychology, and human-computer interaction. Sometimes people tend to confuse UX for UI design, but you... So, what do you think? How far do you think we are from actually getting this fully automated? Granted, that last part is the most painful for any, I guess, creator or content creator on YouTube or any other side, because the editing is usually where you add the most human value. You know, that's where the creativity is really put down to the test. 
this short video in just a couple of days allowed me to get one subscriber, earn 10 pence off of it. If you produce thousands of videos like that, automating with some scripts, of course, you could probably get rich enough or maybe you know just cover the cost and the views is another vanity metric which doesn't really matter you know it's way below let's say the typical rates for the short specifically because this compares other short videos with this short video and it kind of flows consistently up which makes me think that this because it's an evergreen topic because seo is optimized for that over time I'm probably going to be producing views even if i don't even do anything so it's kind of like sits on the back and maybe cause you know more subscribers or people to explore that main uh, channel content so that's the strategy behind it the biggest one which i wanted to show you which kind of wasn't really i guess that surprising and maybe some interesting to some people is the perception of the user who consumes the content and them kind of realizing, oh crap, this is actually AI produced. And this kind of marks this mark. As you can see, the drop off around 10 seconds. And when people realize that this is AI video, it just drops kind of like half ways and like half of the people immediately skips it. Or you realize, okay, this is actually auto produced. It's not someone making a video, you know, from scratch. And do make sure to look at the actual video to recognize exactly where the shortcomings are. I didn't try to make it like a super realistic. I just stitched it together so it flows well. Do let me know if you like this video of a behind the scenes, that meta content. So I'm gonna be exploring as I go more and more into the actual automation and how that could apply to anyone like doesn't matter if you're content designing or you are like a ux researcher or designer you kind of need to think about these things because more and more we're going to introduce the tools which allows us to automate at least the part of our work doesn't matter what the work is and this is a pure example at that so if you like this video smash that like button subscribe for more check other videos on ux or out of ux boundaries and on that note i'll see you next time